The New York Mets continue to look to see if they can somehow bolster their roster heading into the rest of the second half of the season, including shoring up their catching position, their depth on the outfield roster, as well as the DH position and some bullpen relief. Today, the New York Mets ended up making a minor trade as they traded for first baseman slash outfielder Darren Ruff from the San Francisco Giants, and in return, they sent struggling DH slash third baseman J.D. Davis back over to the San Francisco Giants. Now, so far in 2022, Darren Ruff has been batting at least 216 with 11 home runs and 38 RBIs. He has 268 at bats with 58 hits with 46 runs scored and two stolen bases with an on-base percentage of 328 a slugging percentage of 373 an OPS of .701 as well as an OPS plus of 98 so Darren Ruff is going to be a guy that's pretty much going to come in he's going to be a right-handed bat off the bench maybe give you occasional power from the right-handed side occasionally also be a guy that could play first base or DH if you want to spell a guy like Pete Alonso or if you want to spell another guy like Daniel Vogelback was just acquired as well. But the New York Mets are pretty much making this move to strengthen up their DH, first base, and outfield depth while they try to get away a guy like J.D. Davis who has been struggling so far this year. As J.D. Davis so far in 2022 has a 238 batting average with four home runs and 21 RBIs, which are way down from what he did a couple of years ago. With 26 runs scored, 43 hits, and 181 at-bats with an on-base percentage of 324, a slugging percentage of 359, an OPS of 683, that's not terrible, but it's not great, and an OPS plus of 96, which is just terrible. J.D. Davis has pretty much given them nothing in terms of the offensive production from the third base and D.H. position. And he's pretty much been a guy that's been coming in sparingly and has sometimes run into home runs. And he's pretty much really not giving them much on the defensive side of the, of the baseball game, too. <laughs> so in way, I just see this as like a one-for-one one depth swap. Darren Ruff comes in, gives you more right-handed depth on the lineup, as well as he could play multiple positions. You can maybe give a Pete Alonzo... Uh, Starling Marte, Mike Canna, Brandon Nemo, uh, Daniel Vogelback, any of the players that have been playing the outfield, DH, or first base, you give them more depth with a guy like Darren Ruff, along with Tyler Naquan and Daniel Vogelback. That's what I three those three moves right now so far. With the acquisitions of Ruff, Naquan, and Vogelback, you're just giving this team more depth in terms of like their lineup and the configurations around the first base, DH, and outfield, which is okay. But I still believe the New York Mets need to at least add one more impact bat, especially at the catching position, and the New York Mets desperately need to add some bullpen help. Because right now, that bullpen, besides Edwin Diaz, is nobody that you could trust. So I really believe before the 6 p.m. deadline today, the New York Mets need to go out there and add at least a, no a couple more bullpen arms, as well as a catcher that can give them some offensive production, as well as be a good uh, caller of the game and defensive presence at the catching position overall. So if you like the video, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeff BT 3285 for more breaking news updates and chatter surrounding the New York Mets, Brooklyn Nets, New York Giants, WWE Wrestling, as well as some food for thought. Share your comments below and what you feel about the acquisition of Darren Ruff. What you think he's going to be able to bring to the table for the New York Mets in terms of being a solid debt player and he can play multiple positions. What you think about the Mets finally trading away J.D. Davis and the impact that Darren Ruff can give on the team in terms of his depth of the roster. And what other people that you wish the Mets can acquire going into the, uh, before the trade deadline. And turn on the bell for notifications on the next video or short that's going to drop surrounding the New York Mets. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Take it easy and remember, let's go New York Mets.